Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Welcome everybody. Today is day two of our three days fasting. And it's six o'clock. So it's the final prayer for day two. The next time we get on will be 12 midnight, which will be day three. Thank God for strength. We thank God for bringing us this far. Some of you did not think you could do this, but you're still here. God is pleased with you. I'm just going to talk a little bit and pray for you guys. And um, I have a message that I have to give online in a few. When I, you know, I, I'm doing six to six now, so I have to eat and come back and do a video, right? Right. <laughs> But I'm proud of you guys. Some of you are doing dry fasting, no food for three days. Keep it up. God is your strength. I just want to thank God for your life. I thank God for everything he's done. Thank him for keeping you alive. Making everything go smoothly in your life. Nobody is dead in your family. He provided money for you to pay your bills. You have a job to go to. You have a house that you live in. You have a family. I just thank God for your life. I pray that God will continue doing more things in your life that will make you happy in the name of Jesus. Just appreciate Jesus wherever you are. Sometimes people don't know how blessed they are until they start to write down everything that God has done for them. And then they start looking for more paper. 
Have you ever tried that before? Have you ever like taken a paper and a pen to just write? Like, you know that song they sing, count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. You guys know that song, right? Sometimes you have to like count your blessings for you to know how blessed you are. Meaning you have to have like a, I call it a sheet of paper and a pen. Just start writing. You will start looking for more paper. And then you will start feeling bad that you haven't appreciated God enough. It's true. Some people will be like, oh, I haven't received miracle money. I wasn't, I haven't, I haven't received miracle money. This one got miracle money. This one got this. But you've gotten way more than that person. <laughs> Just because you didn't get miracle money. That's why you always have to thank God. Sometimes you just sit down and just think. Think of where you were last year and where you are now. You will see that there have been so many good things that have happened to you from that time till now. And you will just kneel down and say, you know what? I'm sorry, Lord. I thank you. I'm ungrateful. I've been ungrateful, Lord. Forgive me. I thank you, Lord. I thank you. Some people have not been to the hospital for years. They've not been sick. Have you gone to the hospital? There's some people that are very rich. They have so much money. But they are in the hospital lying there, sick. Some of them are on this thing. What I can call them? That um, life support. Some of them are in coma. They have businesses. They have all this money. But all of that cannot give them the kind of health that they want. But you, you are not rich like them. But you have not been to the hospital for over how many years? You've not been admitted in the hospital. Jesus, you have to thank God. Thank him. Your children have not been admitted to the hospital. None of your child has um, collapsed before. or has, like You're blessed. There are some people, their children, because of their children, they go to the hospital almost every other day or every week. They've spent all their money on doctors because this child is just always sick. But you don't have to deal with that. I'm telling you, when you think about all these things, you will just begin to thank God. You, in fact, the way you were thinking that day, as I'm saying this, some of you are already feeling guilty because it's true. Some of you will ask God for husband. And you will get married. You will just start living life. But you have forgotten to thank him for that husband. There was a time that you were fasting and praying and you wanted to get married. He finally did it, but you just saw it as a casual thing. You forgot to. You're supposed to even do a Thanksgiving for him. Thanksgiving celebration. Because it took you a while to get a husband. But when he comes, you just be like, hmm. Everybody gets married now. It just becomes a regular thing. But remember when you were crying day and night to that thing? There's a song that's coming that I need to play. Mm. I'm trying to look for it. God is making me focus on thanking him. It's making me focus on thanksgiving. Because some of you need to thank him. There's this song I'm going to play. Wherever you are, just enjoy it. I like it. Oh, I love this song. Just celebrate Jesus. Just thank him. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Waha. Yes. That's right. It's time to dance and praise the Lord. Thank you. Even this mountain. Say thank you, Lord, because I know you have removed mountain. Hey, hey. That's right. Ibaha. Shaha. That's right. And it is more than Just celebrate Jesus. See what the Lord has done for me. Look, look, see what the Lord has done for me. Everybody, look, look, see what the Lord has done for me. Yes, Lord. Just thank him. 
enjoy it's the song says everybody come and see what the lord has done for me he's done a lot for me that's what the song is saying you're just celebrating him my god did they give me peace my god gives me peace he has given me joy ha <laughs> He has given me money. Ha ha. He da baba shanta ha. He de give me money. Yes, Lord. That's right. Just thank him. God loves it when you thank him. Look away. Look away. Hey, hey. When you thank God, you confuse the devil. The devil is wondering why is she thanking God? Isn't it she supposed to be crying right now? But you're not crying, you're thanking God instead. Ha <laughs> ha. Look away. Look away. Look away. Yes, Lord. Ah. Hey, they give me peace, yo. Hey, they give me money, yo. Hey, they give me joy, yo. Hey, they give me joy, yo. You they give me peace, yo. That's right. Come on, dance, everybody. Celebrate Jesus. Just thank Him for all He has done. Whenever we fast, I notice that God always makes me do something like a thanksgiving even before we end. Does that mean that that doesn't that doesn't that mean that He has already answered our prayers? <laughs> what? I just feel like celebrating today. Come on, I see some of you dancing already. Ha <laughs> ha! Dance wherever you are. Shaha! Thank you, Jesus. Just thank him. Just thank him. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Dance it. Ha. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say amen. Testimony is coming. That's right. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. We're just going to thank God. We need to thank him. He's saying all things we should give him thanks because this is what he wants us to do. Ayaha. Just thank him. Oh, shaha. Oh, I need to play one more song. I need to play one more song. I need to play one more song. I'm just in a good mood all of a sudden. I was hungry earlier. Now I'm just in a thankful mood. Because when you really think about everything he has done for you, you just you just want to thank him. You don't want to ask anything today. You just want to thank him. You know? You just want to thank him. Rabba Shabba has Sindrihi. Oh, I like this song. Just rejoice wherever. And be in a thankful mood. Ha! Somebody say, my blessings are coming in the name of Jesus. That's right. And But still thank him for the one that he's already given you. You know? Yes, Lord. He has given me victory. Hey! Come on, everybody. Just celebrate Jesus. Ha ha! Victory! Oh yes, Lord. Now you give me everything I get, Baba. You gave me all that I have. That's what he's saying. That's right. Just thank him wherever you are. No, 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 no. Hey, God has given the victory. Hey, come on, dance wherever you are. Just be happy. Ah, when you start celebrating like this, before you know it, you have a miracle. You have a testimony. Ha! Halle! 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 When was the last time you celebrated like this? When was the last time you said, Father Lord, I thank you. I just want to praise you today. 
for all that you have done for me. I know that the one that I've asked for is on his way. It's coming. Ha ha. Shapale bobo shaha. Come on, everybody, just just dance. Shapale bobo sota ha. Just dance. Hey hey. Shapande de hey. I'm so happy right now. Kaha. Sekele bobo saha ha. Jesus. Kaha. Yeah. Come on, dance wherever you are. I Lord has given me victory. He has given me victory. Aye, he has given me victory. Hallelujah. 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 Hey. Just dance. Forget about any other problem that is pending. The same way he, he, he saw you through the last problem, he will see you through this one too. Just praise him. Just thank him. Ha! New victory. Hey! Yes, Lord. Yes, so. You are the evil eye. Yeah. Aye, God has given me victory. Hey, hey, this song is so good. You guys should be dancing wherever you are. <laughs> he has given me victory. Oh, hallelujah! 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 Ale. Yes, Lord. Because of Jesus, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, God. I know you guys can't hear. You can hear me, but I can't hear you. Just give Jesus a round of applause. Come on. He's done so much for you. Hi. Baba God, I thank you. Oh, thank you for all you are. I'm just in a thankful mood. This is the kind of mood he likes us to be in. Always thankful. Instead of complaining, just thank him for what he has done. And he will want to do more. See the small praise that we just did? God is already pleased. He's smiling. He's happy. That's how you do it. You thank God. And God will do more. That's why he says, infest let me go read that scripture. Let me go read that scripture. I love the scriptures. The scriptures never lie. God loves Thanksgiving. First Thessalonians um, 5 verse um, 17. Oh, verse 18. It says, In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Oh. He says, This is the will of God. This is, this is, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. In everything, give thanks. You, when, they, when they say in everything, do you know what that means? Even when you are going through pain, even when the mountain that is in front of you or is becoming like bigger and bigger, still give thanks. Ha! Ah, so imagine, let's say you get fired from your job. Not you, okay? I'm just giving an example. Somebody gets fired from their job. And they go into their car. And instead of them to be crying, Oh, I just lost my job. Oh. <laughs> you know what they do? They turn on this um, one of these songs that we played. They play it in the car. And they start to blast it loud. And they start to thank God. They just got fired from their job. Oh. The devil wants them to cry. He wants them to say, What kind of life is this? Well, I would like to pay my bills. I don't know. That's what the devil wants. But the person just goes into the car. And the person is playing their music loud. And they are just saying, thank you, Jesus. Dancing in their car. They get home. They continue praising. God will say, that's my child. Because she knows I have a better job waiting for her. But some people, at that point, they don't want to praise God. They don't want to hear nothing about church. They don't want to hear about God. They're just depressed. They think the whole world is coming against them. Like They feel like God hates them. They just lost their job. There's no way to survive. Are you kidding me? 
Do you know that sometimes you have to lose a job for you to get a better job? What if God wanted you to be fired so he can give you a better job that pays maybe two times more? Unless you get fired, you may never go get that job that pays more. So you just have to thank him. Surprise the devil. Some of you, the devil has made you, all you do is you cry every night before you sleep. Somebody had messaged me. She said, please, woman of God, I need children. I've been married for four years. No child. I cry every day. Every day before I sleep. I didn't feel sorry for her. I just messaged her. I said, so when you cry every day before you sleep, how is that going to give you children? How does that settle the problem? And she even said, amen. I, thought, I don't know if she thought I was praying for her because that was a question. Crying every day before you sleep. Has that given you kids? Apparently not. You praise God. Say, Father, Lord, I know you are. You just have a a, 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 a a wonderful child that you have that you have set aside for me. I know that at the right time you will give me that child. <laughs> for now, I just want to praise you because I know that you have a baby waiting that is going to come. I will be pregnant soon. You are preparing that baby for me, that great child. There's a way you can turn things around. And praise God in that situation. And God himself will be so proud of you. He will say, oh my God, this girl, I love her so much. This is my daughter. She is well trained. The Holy Spirit in her is doing a good job. It's not every time, what is this now? God, people are mocking me. People are laughing at me. No child, no this. Why have you done this to me, Lord? Why have you forsaken me? What if God is waiting to give you a child maybe 10 years later and your child will become the next president of whatever, a big country or something? You don't know what God is planning. Sometimes even if the devil did something to your womb, because of the way you praise God, your praise will go and reach God. Eh? God will send an angel to just scatter whatever that devil has done in your womb. Because you keep praising him. You keep praising him. Complaining it doesn't change anything. Sometimes surprise the devil. Whenever I tell you guys something, try it and see. You guys always come back with testimonies anyway. Something bad happened or it has already happened or whatever. Go and play. Go to YouTube and look for some music. Christian gospel music. Put it. Begin to dance. Even the people in your house will be like, are you, why are you dancing now? Are you supposed to be dancing? We should be looking for what to do. He said, eh, don't worry. My God, I've already given it to my God. He's the one that is going to go it out. For now, I just want to praise him. The devil will be like, uh-uh. This situation I just caused here is supposed to cause sadness in this family. It's supposed to cause this family to, to be quarreling all night. But instead, they are praising. Something is not right. I can't understand these people. Why do they keep praising God after all these things? Confuse the devil, man. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't you know that all he wants to do is steal, kill, and destroy? Since you know that that's all he wants to do. To put sadness in your life. To make you depressed. Why do you fall into his trap? Ha! <laughs> you shock him. And you praise God. You thank him. Some of you, you haven't given God thanks in a long time. You haven't danced in a long time to the glory of God. Every day you wake up is worries and worries and complaints and sadness and this. When was the last time you truly forgot about all your worries and say, you know what? Today I just want to dance to the Lord. It's not always going to the club and dancing. When did you dance for God last? The Holy Spirit wants me to say this because there's somebody that needs to start doing this. Just praise the Lord. Even in the, when you're cleaning your house sometimes, put on some worship or praise songs. While you're, let your house not be quiet like that. Play some songs, Christian songs. Angels will be in your house singing with you while you're cleaning, while you're doing what you're doing. Let your house always have that presence. You know, like, let that, that presence always be in your house. The presence of God. Ah. <laughs> When the presence of God is felt in a house, 
There is no quarrel in that house. It's just joy and peace and all this heavenly feeling, heavenly presence. But when a house doesn't have the presence of God there, everybody's frowning their face. In fact, you don't even want to stay in that house because everybody just looks all angry all the time, tense, like somebody is fighting with them. But when you enter a house where there's always praise and worship and prayer, you will know when you enter there. Peace. Ha! You don't even want to leave that place. Make your house a house of praise, a house of worship, a house of prayer. Even if you lost all your money, okay, that's fine. What if that day is your last day on earth? Would you take that money to heaven or hell? You praise God like this is your last day on earth. If you've lost the money, you've lost the money. So what are you going to do? You're going to cry all night. How is that going to bring the money back? Praise God in all situations. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God wants you to praise him because he says he has removed that mountain in your life. The reason you are fasting, he says it is done. But you have to believe that it's done by praising him, by worshiping him. I told you that when you take your mind off of the problem, that's when God steps in to take care of the problem. But as long as you refuse to thank him and you choose to just sit and worry about that mountain, the mountain may never go. But when you remove your eye from the mountain, let me just give you an, a physical example. Let's say that this mountain that we're talking about is a physical mountain. Right? It's in front of your house. And you come stand in front of your house and you're looking at the mountain right in front of your house. And you say, oh, Lord, please remove this mountain, please, Lord. You are standing there looking at the mountain face to face. As you are lo looking at that mountain, that mountain will remove. But the moment you remove your eye from the mountain and you say, maybe you should go and worship God or you should just thank him. You turn back a little bit. By the time you turn around, the mountain is no longer there. You don't know when he, went, he took it away, but it just disappeared from nowhere. You're like, ah. The mountain is gone because you were not focused. The moment you were not focused, God removed it from you. The moment you were not focused on the mountain, you were not focused on the problem. An angel came and he took it away. <laughs> That's the same way with your problem. The moment you are not focused on the problem, the moment you are not focused on that situation and you put your focus on something else, boom, it goes away. Ah, thank you, Jesus. You will be looking at the mountain. It will still be there. But the moment you remove your eye and go do something else and come back, you'll be like, ah, ah, wasn't the mountain just here just now? Wow. That's how it works. So today, you're going to praise God. You say, thank you, Lord, for removing this mountain. Even though the mountain still looks like it's still there. Even though that problem is still there. Maybe you are still seeing the signs of it. In your own mind, it's already removed. So you just thank God. The moment you remove your mind from the problem, I promise you, you will be coming back with a testimony. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Some people sent me messages today. Almost three to four people got jobs, new jobs today. One person is starting today. It's in another country. He just messaged me that he wants me to pray. He's starting a new job. And I forgot to talk about this testimony yesterday. One of us that's fasting. While we Yesterday, I think, was our day one, right? When I was telling you guys to focus on Jesus. And I played some songs. And some of you felt peace and all of that. After we finished the, the session, she was still in the spirit. And while she was still in the spirit, when she was done, she got a phone call. And she should come preach in the women prison. She's always preached in the men prison. She's always wanted to preach in the women prison. But while she was worshiping God on the prayer line, the moment she finished, she finally got that call to come preach in the women's prison. And they wanted her to preach instantly, the same day, not next week. She said that's a big testimony for her because that's a big deal. She's always wanted to go preach in the women's ministry, um, prison. But it happened while she was worshipping. 
<laughs> I forgot to say that testimony yesterday. God is good. God is good. Whatever it is that you're looking for, just ask God, God, I want this. And let it go. And go praise Him. Go worship Him. Go pray to Him. Go do something that pleases Him. And before you know it, He has sent angels out to go take care of that stuff for you. Okay? So if you came on this prayer line feeling all sad and all that, don't be sad anymore. Just be happy and believe that that problem is taken care of. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to have to end early today because as I am talking to you guys, my stomach is making noise. You know what that means? It's time to break my fast. So when I finish eating, I will come back online to give a message. I actually want to read, a, do Bible reading with you guys tonight. There's a scripture that I have to read with you guys. The story is so interesting. Oh, I read it today and I just can't wait to share it with you guys. I'll probably come back on maybe after two hours because I need to use one hour to eat and one hour to relax because you know I'm going to do buffet style now. <laughs> so if you know you can't eat, you can't wait till tomorrow, break your fast. So it's already six o'clock because it's not fair eating and you're not eating you know what i mean so i'm just telling you go and eat all but the one that i see waiting till tomorrow dry fasting god will strengthen you in the name of jesus the ones that have not put their offering i don't know what you're waiting for a lot of you have done that be following instructions one offering per day for three days i see a lot of you doing it god bless you if you don't know how to put your offering go to my facebook you will see my paypal if you're in America, go to Facebook Messenger. Look at the bottom left when you're trying to message me. You'll see a plus sign. Click it. Click payments. If you have my phone number, you can do the square cash. There's so many options for you to give your offering. Now, like I said, it's not about the amount. I see some people doing $1, $2. I have removed, I have removed that spirit of $1 and $2 from them. So by God's grace, they will start giving more. But at least they are giving based on what they have. You know what I mean? Obey instructions. Father Lord, I thank you for your children. I thank you for always bringing us together to fellowship. It is always fun in your presence. There is joy in your presence. We don't feel like living in your presence. We are not living in your presence. We are coming back, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done for us. We are grateful, Lord. We know you are about to do more. And that's why you want us to keep thanking you. We know that you will give testimonies to every single one of them that is listening to the sound of my voice. You will give them testimonies in the name of Jesus. The ones that you've given jobs today, I thank you, Lord. The ones that received their papers, I thank you, Lord. The ones that you have restored their marriage, thank you, Lord. The ones that you have healed today, I thank you, Lord. I just love you, Lord. You are doing great things in the lives of your children. We are grateful, Lord. Thank you for all you have done in the name of Jesus. If we have been ungrateful in the past, forgive us, Lord. We are learning every day. We promise to do better, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for providing for us to eat. If there's anyone that is fasting with us, that is barely surviving, meaning they don't have any money to eat or to do whatever. Surprise them with a financial miracle in the name of Jesus. Oh, there's somebody on here. Oh, you don't have any money at all. Even as I talked about offering, you felt so sad because you don't have any money at all. I am praying and prophesying into your life. Before the end of tomorrow, somebody will give you big money. In the name of Jesus, make sure you come back and testify. Anybody else that is here and is struggling financially, may God surprise you with financial miracle in the name of Jesus. Oh, you have to believe this prayer. May God surprise you, not small financial miracle, big one, in the name of 